In this video, I explain the D in CDC, which is directionless, and the operational benefits it provides. Subscribe the channel for more video related to DWDM or TN. Directionless but, before directionless, let's see what are the limitations of previous road. Original road technology, dedicated an add drop complex for, each road degree, one degree, is equivalent to, one fiber link direction, can say, one direction, equal to, one degree. This means that, a transponder, had to be physically connected, to the add drop complex, dedicated to the, direction the wavelength is assigned to. Similar, if we have more degree, more WSS, will be connected. Using same example, what happens, when there is a fiber cut, in the east direction? Service will be interrupted, with reconfiguration functionality, we can reconfigure the connection. But due to, WSS architecture limitation, this signal cannot be sent to west direction, which we explained in another video. Now to restore the service, someone to visits the site, to move the transponder, to the MUX DMUX associated to another direction, which is time-consuming, and cost-effective activity. This configuration is now, direction-dependent, called as directional. To achieve network automation, we need, directional-less functionality. Same network, can be upgraded to use, directional-less, to make it direction less, add one more WSS, in add drop. And connect with, existing WSS ports. And this new WSS, signal in out port, connect with multiplexer. Now signal from transponder, can go via this new WSS, and based on connection, it will go in specific direction. Can send to east or west. Now it's not direction dependent, and called as, directionless. With directionless, can eliminate the, site visit, and manual work. Also give us the, full remote configuration flexibility, and enables network automation. 